So Call of Duty has been like the worst thing for my channel right now and I'm not feeling like doing that anymore. Call of Duty has been really bringing my channel down recently because Call of Duty has literally gone to shit. Well, having it go to shit is like terrible because it's I'm do I'm I get why it's going to shit because Call of Duty is not not as good as it was as it was back in the day, but having that little thing that had well having that thing that used to be fun for everyone, aka Call of Duty in general, it's not there anymore, and I really want to play it, but just I just can't do it anymore like I want to play and have fun with it but every time I play I can't have fun with it I just I wish I could have fun with Call of Duty but it's not there anymore I just I was wishing that it was there but no but on a new topic we're, we're probably gonna move the game well the game we're gonna mostly focus on I'm thinking of mostly focus on the world of Assassin's Creed it's because ever since making that top five on the video game franchises I've been having so much fun with the Assassin's Creed games because I, w ever since making that list, I went back and actually played Unity. Unity was the worst one, probably one of the worst Assassin's Creed games out there. The worst if you include the glitches. But if I I ignored the glitches within that and I actually had fun again. Having fun within those like Assassin's Creed, the world of Assassin's Creed again, it was so much fun because I even went out my way to 100% the game, and I'm looking forward after Christmas. After the 25th of December, I'm actually playing the Assassin's Creed Ezio Collection. The Ezio Collection was one of the best, well, he's got the best Assassin's Creed game in, is my own opinion. And that's where we're probably going to start, where all the new stuff starts on the channel. Because we're going to do Let's Play of Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Collection. And we're going to continue doing it, because one, it's fun. And two, I want to show you guys how my first reaction would be to the entire game. Even though I've played it before, but I want to see how I feel like you guys want to see how I feel within the new graphics, how it's going to come out. Having those graphics change so much. I don't, can't remember what year Assassin's Creed 2 came out, but Assassin's Creed 2 was the main focus. And I remember it was the main focus of this project of the Ezio uh, Collection. Because one, it's, it's the oldest one. And two, it's the best one. Well, it's one of the best ones. Because having it's the best one because, well, how do I put it in this way? It's it's got so much different thing. It's got so much evolution in it, and it's got what, the best speech in it from Ezio Auditorio da Firenze himself. And that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with the game. It's it was one of the DLCs from Assassin's Creed 2. It was the bonfires of Florence or Venezia or somewhere. Where we call it? It was in Florence. I know it was. I think it was bonfire of Venezia. Um, Valencia or something. I remember it was called Valencia. I can't remember uh, what it's called, but it was so much fun. I'll probably leave a clip at the end of the video to show you the thing I was talking about and why I fell. <laughs> well, we all know why I fell in love. See, right, it showed character development within the Caro Ezio Auditore. Well, I'll go through this in like another video when I go over like the lore of Assassin's Creed and like the backstory of it. It'd be so much fun to do again because I love the world of Assassin's Creed and that's where we're gonna move this channel to having Assassin's Creed again on the well we haven't had Assassin's Creed on the channel in like over like two years I played Syndicate I had fun with it but not as much fun as I have with the Ezio games and that's basically it those fun with the Ezio games are like so much fun to play because we got all lot, we got a lot of locations to explore because we got Florence Venice um, Tuscany, Montenegro Journey, Rome, Constantinople. We got so much different plans to discover on those, on those three games we're going to be doing. Oh yeah, we missed out Folly, the sh the sh the wetland. Yeah, having that like go through all that again, it'll be so much fun. And I'm even going to go through like the history of some of the characters because some of the characters have got really interesting story, especially the Borgia family has. Because all the Borgia family within the Assassin's Creed games are actual real life people. And I will want to go further in depth of all those characters for you guys. And I'm hoping this will come out better in the future. And anyway, until then guys, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in another video in the near future. Goodbye. Silencio! Silencio! 22 years ago, I stood where I stand now, and 
watched my loved ones die, betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind, would have consumed me, were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers, who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Merici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me or anyone else.